by the end of this video you will know what is the number one most important thing you need to improve in your relationship right now and five easy steps on how to do it for the best relationship advice subscribe and hit the bell button right next to it to be notified every time i upload the video I'm Diana from Better Topics and I have a dedicated website helping couples to experience more love, joy and connection in a fun way. The most important thing you need to improve today is communication. Communication has two parts to it, the actual speaking and engaging with your partner and the outcome that we want with it, which is connection and overall happiness in our relationship. Our aim should be to communicate better and in an effective way, which will lead to a better connection with our partner. There are five easy steps on how to achieve this. Step number one, be intentional about wanting to make a change and decide to implement the following steps. Take a pen and paper if it's easier for you and write down few answers to questions like, what would you want your relationship to look like? What do you feel is missing right now from your relationship? And what are other ways you think you could actually improve your relationship at this point? Yes, I said you because you have to take 100% responsibility for your relationship. But this is a subject for another video. Right now, let's get back to our steps. Step number two. Start by blocking specific time to your relationship and therefore your partner. Discuss this with your partner to see what works for them as well. It is crucial to do this, especially if you have a very busy schedule. If you have kids, it is even more important to actually block some time for you and your partner to spend together and try to connect and talk to each other. During this blocked time, you should aim to discuss about your relationship. Leave the family, kids, friends discussions for another time. You tend to discuss this anyway throughout the day and the week. This specific time should be just you two focusing on your relationship. Remember how it was when you first dated? You didn't really focus on family and friends anymore because you had this specific new person in your life that you wanted to give them all your attention. Now obviously you don't need to go to that extent that you were doing it back then. However, you still need to block some specific time and to give all your attention to your partner. If you feel that you have nowhere where to add this to your schedule, you have to reorganize your time. You can start by adding one hour per week and then build up from there. This can be done either instead of doing a chore in a house, which you can delay, or if you have kids, maybe whilst kids are off um, having some classes or swimming or if you have family members close who can look after your kids for a couple of hours, it's even better. You can get more than an hour and then you get to spend that time with your partner without worrying about anything else. If you have friends with kids of similar age, you can ask them to help you out. They can watch your kids for a couple of hours a week um, and make sure to agree to do the same for them. Why not help another couple improve their relationship as well? Step number three, be positive. There are enough negative things out in the world. Your relationship should be your oasis, your escape from all that negativeness and your place where you can go have fun and escape to. The aim for this block time together is to have fun, communicate and connect with each other, not focus on more negative things. Therefore, try to keep it as positive as possible. At the beginning, if it's quite strange for you to actually have this time together because it's been too long since you have it, you can start by doing some fun things together like play a game or play some board games or maybe just even have a walk and a conversation. But please try to make sure to stay away from the TV or anything that basically doesn't help you engage with each other. Focus on doing something that allows you to actually have a conversation around your relationship and you two as individuals as well. As I previously mentioned, leave your family, friends, kids conversation from another time because this is your time, your couple's time. Whilst we're doing this step, we have to really pay attention to the words we are using because they influence our own mood and therefore it will influence our partner's mood as well. So the more positive words we try to use, especially during this time, the more likely it is for both of you to actually have some fun and maybe even just relax. 
comment below and let me know what you think of this step so far. If you're shy, just comment a yes if you're willing to give it a go. Step number four, ask the right questions and again, use positive words. Try to use as many positive words as you can. I know at first it might come quite difficult and you have to really sit back and think about it, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes, I promise. Instead of using, I don't like this, I'm not happy with that, why not try to use the positive side of it, such as, I would really appreciate it if you would do this and use the positive of the things that you would not want them to do. For example, if I really don't like it when my partner leaves their socks around the house, instead of saying, why do you always leave your socks around, why not try to turn it into a positive thing and say, I would really appreciate it if you would pick them up and put them where they actually belong. Now that you have a clear plan for what you want and what your ideal relationship looks like, and you have also blocked a specific time to spend with your partner, it is the best time to start asking similar questions and to find out what your partner really wants from the relationship and how do they think the relationship can be improved. You can ask things like, what is their ideal relationship like? How would they want your relationship to progress? And most important, how much effort are they willing to put in improving your relationship? Now, please be aware that your partner is a different person than you are. You might be similar, you might be different. However, they might have a different opinion of the overall relationship. They might feel it's actually going very well. That's okay. And at this point, you can actually add your opinion to it. But again, make sure to use the positive side of it. Their answers might surprise you or even shock you but that is okay. At least you have the information and you can work with that. You can ask follow-up questions to understand why they feel in a certain way about your relationship and then just build up on that and then see where the conversation goes. You can negotiate steps forward that suit both of you. This is something that will evolve with time and the more you do it and the more time you spend together, the easier it will be for both of you to open up but at least you are making steps towards improving your relationship. Step five, be honest. If we expect our partner to be honest with us, we have to be honest in return. We should not be using these steps to manipulate them or to get them to do certain things for us. These steps are to improve your relationship and therefore make both of you happy in your relationship. Again, if you have kids, it is even more important to follow all these steps and it is crucial to be honest with each other. Because you see, parents expect their children to be honest with them and open up towards them when they have problems or issues or anything else they want to talk about. But how can kids actually open up towards their parents if the parents don't do the same between themselves? How can anyone else be honest with us if we are not honest with the person that we literally sleep in the same bed with? If you're not being honest with your partner about what you're thinking and feeling, you will end up resenting them for not doing something or not being as involved as you would like them to be. This resentment builds up over time and we tend to lash out at our partner without them even realizing what the problem is as we have never told them. Your partner cannot guess what's in your mind. You have to tell them. But again, you have to use positive words when you do that. Now you know exactly what to do to improve your relationship dramatically. If you're still new to this and you're not sure what to do on your date night or that specific block time you have with your partner, you can try some couple games. There are so many variants out there. We even have a couples card game on our website. This card game has been designed to help couples have deeper conversations, but in a fun way. You can find the link in the description box below as well. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button, subscribe, and feel free to share it with your friends.